So, it seems that the reports and the rumors were true. Samoa Joe is back with WWE, mostly with the NXT brand. And it's all because of Triple H. Now, we can give Triple H a lot of flack and everything for, you know, saying what he did over the weekend. And, you know, he does deserve it. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, some of us can, though, understand, like you said, well, some of us did talk about it. You know, we can understand where he's coming from, that, you know, you know, there are some truths to what he said in that um, media call and all that. So we can't deny him, you know, that he may have been right in some of the cases, but that he also, as I put it, sounded very hypocritical about saying certain things, especially when it came to the fans and, you know, not just, you know, sitting back and enjoying it and, it, you know, stuff like that. You know, so we can give him a lot of flack, if you will. But there are times that once we give him that, well, not once, but there are times that when we give him flack, he always finds a way to kind of redeem himself. And one of the ways he did it was by basically bringing back the likes of a Samoa Joe to WWE, mostly the NXT brand. And, you know, that for a lot of folks is something that, you know, should have happened a long time ago. Now, here's what's interesting about this information, though. Here's what's interesting about this information. It seems that Hunter, Paul, if you will, wasn't even aware, wasn't even aware from what some of these reports are saying, he wasn't even aware of some of these releases. He wasn't aware that Joe had been released. He wasn't aware of this man or this woman being released. You know, so that took him by surprise. Which is why you're starting to hear reports that they're trying to get Alistair Black back. You know, because obviously Alistair being released was a surprise to, to Triple H as well as maybe even Vince. And now they're trying to bring those guys back, maybe even along with Braun Strowman, because they're realizing, hey, we need these people on the road. What are you doing? Why are you taking these guys away from us? And I'm sure, you know, and I bet you anything, I bet you Nick Khan has been talked to. I bet Nick Khan, because we haven't heard much about him lately, has been, you know, took into Vince's office along with Triple H and said, hey, before you make any decisions about cutting people, come to us first because we might want to keep these people around. So, so yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's really intriguing. And so, yeah, it's really kind of surprising that part of that report uh, part of that report, if you will, is saying that Triple H didn't even know. He didn't even know, like I said, that Samoa Joe had been released. He didn't. He wasn't aware of it. He wasn't made aware of it until he found out. And that's why he wanted to bring him back. He also wanted to bring him back, I think, in my opinion, is because he knew that if Joe would have gone anywhere else, he would have been, a, not only would he be allowed maybe to compete, you know, in the ring, but knowing how some companies are, like Impact, maybe even, you know, uh, AEW, they would thrust Joe right into the main event spot immediately. They would do that. So, you know, so basically, so basically him bringing Joe back, you know, is great and everything, and especially to the NXT brand is great and everything, you know. But it also confirms another thing as well, which, you know, a lot of people kind of, you know, figured out, or at least in their own way, or way in their own unique way, I should say, of speculating, are starting to figure out. And that is the fact that, you know, Triple H, you know, he, as much as he wants to, he can't just flat out, you know, flat, you know, he, basically he can't just flat out, flat, come out. What I'm trying to say is, is, you know, he, Triple H, you know, as much as he would want to, he just flat out can't, you know, tell Vince or anybody else involved, hey, this is uh, wrong what you're doing, you know, with these talents. You need to let these talents, you know, be themselves, you know, and everything. You need to let them be themselves. You need to stop ruining them. Or just, you know, if you're going to start ruining them, let them come back to NXT where they can be themselves. You know, he can't just come out and say that because he knows that even though, 
you know, Vince is his wife's uh, father and that's his father-in-law, it could cost him his job. That he's still his boss at the end of the day. It could cost him his job. So, you know, it's really, so it's a really telling, it's really a telling sign, if you will, when, you know, you have Triple H, you know, being the one that lobbied for Samoa Joe to come back, be part of the NXT brand, when he could have just brought him back, then be part of the main roster, like when he left, like when he was let go. It's a real telling sign that, yeah, maybe Triple H does realize that maybe sending these guys to Raw and SmackDown for the time being isn't the best solution until things get a little bit better. So, yeah, Triple H. Yeah, Triple H. Uh, basically has decided, you know what, I'm not going to, you know, send my talent up there for the time being. And if I bring any talent back or, you know, want to, you know, you know, you, you know, want to bring them back, I should say, from, you know, from being released or bring them back after they've been gone for a bit, like for a break or a vacation, you know, he's going to bring them back to the NXT brand because he knows that's where they can thrive better, you know, so... So yeah, it's um, like I said, it's really tell telltale sign that maybe Triple H is not in the loop as much as he thinks he is. You know, when it comes to certain uh, decisions being made, you know, and obviously, you know, according to some reports, it came as a surprise to him that Samojo was released, and this this is the reason why he lobbied to bring him back to the company as part of the NXT brand because I think he's realizing hey if you guys don't want to do anything with him let me have him let me bring him back let me put him on my brand where he started you know with this company and go from there you know because at least I can get some usage out of him and that's about it now apparently Joe's role is going to be non-wrestling we don't know if that means he's going to be the new GM or co-GM I would go with co-GM maybe because he can't handle things on his own. I mean, the fact that he hinted that there needs to be a change, you know, um, in NXT just to, you know, get things back in, on track, you know, you know, prevent less chaos, if you will. That kind of tells me Joe's gonna be brought in kind of like, kind of in a coach and general manager, you know, uh, role, just like let's say Sonya Deville right now is uh, with you know with Adam Pierce on Raw and SmackDown like you know she's kind of in that co-authority role where you know if Adam's not there she'll make matches and you know when they're both there they'll agree to make you know matches together that might work it might make sense you know so I think that's what's going to happen with Joe they're going to put him into that kind of environment that kind of role of a co-GM uh, a co-authority figure with Regal to make sure that things you know are properly taken care of that nothing uh, gets out of hand and I wouldn't be surprised if they promote the fact that he's going to be the kind of guy that doesn't mind getting his hands dirty if he has to so uh, so yeah um, that's what Joe's role is apparently going to be it's going to be non-wrestling probably be more specifically in that role of a GM or a co-authority figure or something and we'll just have to see what happens happens after that but yeah Samoa Joe is back at WWE, but again, it does show that not even Triple H knows everything that's going on when it comes to some stars being released.